Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about indexing in SQL. Now I have here a simple query which is querying the table uh, drivers and these are the results I got and this table is part of a, of a database which consists of these tables and that lists all the Formula 1 um, results and drivers and constructors involved from 1950 till now. So now the thing is that when I'm when I'm searching for something, let's say now I'm selecting all drivers whose um, surname uh, starts with um, with an H A, and now this is similar to looking for a word in a book, and let's say if I've got a book. A, a Formula One book, and I'm looking for the team Ferrari or for the for the word Ferrari in this book. Then there are two ways of going about it. One way is you know reading from or searching from page one till the end for the the occurrence of Ferrari, and then you know noting down the pages where that word uh, or uh, occurs. That's one way of doing things. Or I could go to the back of the book where there's normally an index. And where you'd have the keywords like Ferrari in there, and they uh, and they're basically these keywords or indices are listed alphabetically. And there I would go under F, find Ferrari, and then next to it I'd have all the pages where that uh, word occurs. So and similar to these uh, to that index in a, uh, at the back of the book, an index with a database functions the same way. What happens is that the database creates a list. In the background, which helps it in accelerating the search for whatever you search, and you could obviously index everything, like all fields, but that would render the database too fat. It would be similar to like indexing every single word in a book. Can you imagine what kind of index you have? Like, for instance, you would also index and or, eh, the, and so on. So that would make the index way bigger than the book itself. So that's why is what you, what you need to do is index specific fields. Now, which fields do I index? Well, those fields where you assume a lot of searching is going to go on. So for instance here, let me just reduce the width of that uh, browser element. So in my database here, I assume that the biggest search is going to take place with forename, surname, and nationality. So that's why these three would be my candidates for indexing. And uh, and it depends on, you know, another guy would say, oh, you know, for me, number is the main thing, and I don't need anything else, or the driver ID, and so on. So it depends on, your, you know, your needs. You've got to know what you're looking for, and then index it, and then create your indices. And in this case, if I, need, if I want to index those three uh, fields, it's very easy to do that. Let's, let's first index the first field, create, and then index, that's a keyword index, and then you give the name of the index. Now, you know, you can give it any name you want, that doesn't matter, but what I do, I have a certain uh, sort of uh, system, how I name indices. And I start off with IDX. That's the norm, actually. In most SQL code, you'd see IDX is sort of the symbol for index. And then what I do, I list the table's name and then the field name, in this case, for name. So now if I see the index, oh, I know it's for name from table, from table drivers. So that's the name of the index. Then comes the keyword on, and then you got to list the table drivers. And then in permands, uh, actually the field, uh, your, your indexing, and that would be that. And then obviously semicolon. So now if I run that code, uh, I would already have created my first index for the table drivers and it's uh, for the field for name. And if I go here to the, the, the table drivers, mind you, I'm now in Postgres. I mean, every, every, other, every system puts the indices differently. In Postgres, you go to table and you have indexes here now there's this doesn't seem to be anything here what you gotta do is refresh and now i can open up and see here there's my first index that i just created and i could similarly create the other two indices let me just do one more i mean you know it doesn't matter if i do two or three 
for the video. So now the first, second one would be surname and on driver's surname. And obviously any, any indices you do for the other tables, you would have to go to that respective table and then check it out. So right, uh, that I comment out because I already created that index and run that. And there we go. And now if I refresh, I should have two indices. There you go. So that these two indices should now accelerate the search um, or any queries you do where, uh, you know, you're searching in either forename or surname or both. And obviously this database here is, is, is relatively small. It's like it got like, I think it's got under a thousand drivers. So, you know, you're not going to uh, see a big effect whether you have an index or whether you have indices or not. Where you see big effects are big databases with like, a, you know, I don't know, 10,000, 100,000 or, or more uh, rows. There you, you definitely um, see the, the effect of an index or the effect of multiple indices, depending on how the search is. Right, so now we've created our indices. Now, uh, how do I get rid of them if I need to get rid of them? Mind you, you um, another thing to, to explain here, you, you do your indices mainly once, you know, at the, at, the, at the start when you design or basically just create your uh, database. You don't regularly change the indices. You just create them once and, and that's it. So uh, in order to drop indices, it is even simpler. You just use the keyword drop and then the keyword index, and then the name of the index. So in this, let's drop the first one, IDX, drivers, and then for name, and then semi, colon. So that's it, that would drop the index, would delete the first one and run that. So that's clear, and then I have to refresh here again. And there you go, I've got written off the first one, and now I still got only one index. And that's the way you work with the indices. Remember, you, basically index those fields that are key for your search.